I'm John Wilder, historian for Aleppo Shrine. Uh, today I've brought a few items which have actually come into um, come back into the public of the shrine knowledge, I believe. Um, recently, the Imperial Shrine advertised uh, a bit about this magazine, uh, the Shrine Magazine, which was published as a national publication between 1926 and 1928. This magazine, this series of magazines, many issues of them survive. They were printed on decent quality paper for a magazine of the time, and they had this wonderful Art Deco cover art, which featured beautiful women of the period. Uh, some featured Middle Eastern scenes. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a full collection of uh, every issue that was ever printed which we have digitized from the Aleppo archives and is available on the Internet Archive. Um, we will post a link to them uh, when we post this video. Another set that we have also digitized, we don't have every issue, but this is the magazine, The Crescent, which bordered the shrine, uh, the printing of the shrine magazine. The Crescent was printed from 1910 until 1926 when it was replaced by the Shrine. And then at the end of 1928, they decided to discontinue the Shrine magazine and bring the Crescent back. And I believe it was published from 1929 until about 1932. I haven't found any issues later than that. There was um, a Shrine newsletter that was published nationally in the late 40s, a Shriner magazine that was printed in the 1950s nationally, and then the current Shriner magazine, which I believe started in the 1980s, but I need to double check. But anyway, um, the difference between the two, they were both national Shrine publications, or really international. The Shrine magazine was more of a general interest. It had uh, unique fiction stories which was popular at the time for magazines. They were printed in serials, so each issue would have another part of the story, and you would pick it up. I'd say about two-thirds to three-quarters of the Shrine magazine has fictional stories, which have nothing to do with the Shrine, really. So I think it was really published aimed towards the family of the Shriner and friends, something that they could read and then give away. Uh, it was definitely eye-grabbing with the, the artwork, which again really had nothing to do with the shrine. Very Art Deco, but, you know, rather generic. There were, there was about a quarter to a third of each issue which did bring the news from the Imperial Shrine and from the individual temples. The Crescent, on the other hand, I found is really the other way around, where a majority is news from the individual temples, um, the Imperial Shrine, the National Convention, which was the Imperial Session every year, the hospitals. These have a lot of great stories. Uh, both magazines were printed monthly. As mentioned, the Shrine was only for three years. The Crescent was from 1910 till 26, and again, 29 until about 1932. Um, for the first seven years, they are printed in a smaller format. This is actually um, Volume 1, Issue 1, printed March 1910. This is a rather rare issue to find in this condition as well. Um, and then I think in about 1917, they went to the larger format. The cover art all had um, shrine-related images, some we still recognize today. as the uh, You'll see this on various plates and statuettes, the uh, Shriner who has just crossed the hot sands of the desert. Um, unfortunately, this was printed on a much lower quality paper, which more was akin to newspaper uh, at the time. So they are rather fragile. And uh, as such, and I think also because of the uh, more desirable, more universally appealing images of the shrine, I think the Crescent has become less collectible, even though for historical purposes, in my opinion, it's the much more interesting magazine. Um, we do not have a complete collection. However, 
I would venture to guess that the Aleppo Archives, from what I understand, thanks to various donations uh, from some of our benefactors, including illustrious Randy Coe from Cosair Shrine in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, or as you might say, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, I believe you're supposed to say it, um, we have probably the largest collection. I believe we have over 200 individual issues, all of which have been digitized, and again, all are available on the Internet Archive. I will post links to that when we post this video. Um, I aim to make all this information available to both the um, casual reader and the interested Shriner. Because as I said, there is some of the um, fictional stories in here, but a vast majority in the Crescent are stories from the individual temples, the hospital, and the Imperial, um, Imperial Potentate and Imperial Dive-In. So it has been an amazing historical resource for myself and those interested. I do note, and we do have it, a statement, um, as is needed nowadays with archives. We are a historical archive. We aim to preserve information and make it available. There is some um, content that people nowadays might find objectionable. Um, common usage of the time terms, uh, images, cartoons uh, of a racial nature, which was common at the time, the uh, various vaudeville imagery, that it does come up now and then. So obviously this does not represent the opinion of the shrine nowadays, but it is of the time period, and as such we do not uh, as a archive, we don't comment on it, we don't condone it, but it is what it is, and we learn from it. Um, so you will see that come up every so often, but I do highly, highly recommend looking through these magazines, which I've made available digitally, and uh, I would be very interested if uh, anyone has any issues that we don't have. I'd be interested in borrowing those to digitize those. So please reach out to me. Um, be very interested in, in learning more uh, from the information that is contained in those. So if you like what you see, remember to like our video, subscribe to our page, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.